If you're thinking about crossing the country alone, you might want to reconsider. Thank you for joining us on a two-minute review. My name is Tay Tay, and I'll be your host today. And this week, we take a look at the latest survival thriller called Alone. Roll the clips. Do you live nearby? No, not really. Our story follows Jessica, a widow who longs to start a new life as she moves across the country. Unfortunately, she is stalked and captured by a sadistic murderer. Upon her escape, she is forced to battle the wilderness, a relentless stalker, and even herself in a thrilling and realistic insight into the realm of stalker movies. 911, what's your emergency? The good. The use of lighting and camera work really bring you into the world of survival, as each moment captured is tense and realistic. Also, unlike most movies in this genre, no one does anything idiotic. The killer doesn't have magic teleportation powers, but there aren't too many unbelievable moments of convenience that bend all believability and make you roll your eyes. Say that. Ah, let me get out of here! I know fear when I see it. It's all in the eye. The bad. It does have a lack of storyline and a development into a character's lives are quite shallow. This movie has no reason for you to cheer for a protagonist as she fights for her life. Off the bat, she was an unlikable person and nothing compels us to change our mind throughout the story. Looks like someone forgot to save the cat. But while it was lacking some character development, it was definitely a refreshing retake on the realm of survival movies. And for that, I give this movie a watch. I am coming for you. We hope you enjoyed this refreshing retake on the stalker genre. What are some of your favorite stalker movies? Leave a comment below and let me know. And until next time, keep that popcorn warm for me.